Hello everyone, I have another unboxing for you to do. And actually, I <laughs> after this unboxing, I actually need to start saving up uh, for 2014 and things like that as far as uh, funds um, for my collecting, for my collection. So, um, this item that I'm unboxing has actually is not going to release until this Tuesday. So it's not released until Tuesday, March 12th, and at the time of this recording, it is March 10th of 2013. But I basically got the album early because I did a, I got it through a pre-sale package on Audio Adrenaline's official site. So I got the brand new album that's coming out this Tuesday, uh, Kings and Queens by Audio Adrenaline. And I got there, they had like four different pre-sale packages. Of course, I got package A, which is the top package um, that cost the most, of course, and that um, uh, you pay them on their official site, audioa.com uh, or whatever. So what package A included, and I actually missed out on two things in that package because I accidentally fast-forwarded to my... Um, online version of the receipt with accidentally clicking the forward button. Um, so I missed some links to get two of the free things that were a part of that package. So uh, part of the pre-sale package A is you got a private full instant streaming of the album before it even comes out. Like right away as soon as you um, purchase that package. However, I accidentally missed the link totally and just went to the confirmation page for my order. So um, I didn't really uh, get to do that. But it included the music video of Kings and Queens, the free single for an instant download of Kings and Queens. It also included a... I'm actually going to be getting near the date of the official release. I will get... A digital copy of their album. So I'll get a digital version of their album. And I will also get a special documentary of the Kings of Comebacks. Hour, an hour something long documentary of that. Like the making of their album. I'll get that somewhere near release date. Um, of the actual album. But I got the actual autograph album. Um, early. I actually got this, I've actually, this album came, uh, I think even a, a couple, it came a couple days ago, but I'm just now getting around to unboxing this for all of you. So the only ways you could get this album early, basically, is if you took advantage of the pre-sale on Audio Adrenaline's official website, or if you went to one of their most recent live concerts where you can buy the album there ahead of time before it even releases. So, basically, um, Audio Adrenaline is a band you might not have heard of in a long time in the Christian music industry, and that is because they split up six years they split up six years ago. And they haven't released an album um, since six years ago from when they had their live final concert in Hawaii. And main reason why they ended as a band, I think, was the lead singer's voice kept deteriorating over the years. Um, he actually had a condition with his lar larynx. So now he stepped down as the main singer, and now they brought over Kevin Max from DC Talk as their lead front man for their singer. So that's that's really awesome. And the main reason why this is one of my most anticipated and top albums I wanted for this year was because this album represents the Orphans in Haiti. And I'm not sure how familiar you are with the Hands and Feet project, but uh, this band Audio Adrenaline created... Uh, the Hands and Feet Project. And what the Hands and Feet Project does is it cares for orphans in parts of Haiti. 
And as you know, Haiti was severely devastated with a earthquake. Um, a little more than a year ago, I guess. I'm not sure uh, how long it's been, but Haiti's had quite a share of earthquakes in the past. And, you know, many people lost everything they had. And um, they, some of them even couldn't find their families right away after the severe earthquakes that Haiti had. So, mainly what Audio Adrenaline does is they they provide, um, they they send money to the Hands and Feed Project, and they, they try to provide new ways to build homes for all these orphans. And they actually have, I know one orphan, which I'll actually not say his name yet, but you can actually, I'll post a link in the description box below, of the official Facebook page of the Hands and Feet Project, so you can check it out if you're interested in supporting that nonprofit organization. It's a very good organization that cares a lot um, for the children and kids in Haiti that are struggling a whole lot um, to make it. And actually, all proceedings um, of Audio Julian's new album. Mostly all proceedings or all money that you spend at their album will go directly to their hands and feet project. Their hands and feet project. So I recommend that you buy this album so you can support their hands and feet project. And even, even, I mean, every little bit helps for every person that buys their new album. Um, you know, to where some of their money will be going to, where almost 100% of their money will be going to uh, building a new homes and stuff in parts and areas of Haiti. So, this album cover is really interesting because I think it represents something dealing with the orphans in Haiti. I'm not sure yet. Um, until I know more information on that, um, I probably won't be able to share that yet with you. I actually hope to have my review out for the new Audio Adrenaline Kings and Queens album, hopefully one day before release date. So I hope to have the review out, out probably somewhere later tomorrow on my YouTube. So be looking for that, and also I'll post written review on new release Tuesday, hopefully one day before release. Um on christianmusicdivinity.blogspot.com, my official blog for everything in music and things, uh, and stuff like that. And I'll also spread the word on my alternative Twitter account. I will spread the word based on that, and um, I do things like that. So... Let's actually look at this album, shall we? So, as you can see, this is signed by all five of the new band members that have been included on it. Um, I'm not sure if I can read all the signatures. It's kind of hard to. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to read the signatures, but you can see it there. So, as we open the lyric sheet up, we have a cool picture of all five of the band members right there. Uh, so as you can see, I think they have uh, actually have laser pointers that um, on this fold out. It's pretty cool. So it's just your standard lyric sheet, you know, with your lyrics. That's basically it. Uh, actually, here are their band members. Will McGinnis does the bass. Kevin Max is the new vocalist. Dave Gazarin does the guitar. Jared Ryan Byers does the drums. And Jason Walker does the keys and vocals. So, I think Jason Walker is probably the backup vocalist for the group. But that's awesome. Um... And of course, they thank their, of course, Will McGinnis and Kevin Max thank their um, family and their wives 
Um, and of course, God, I'm sure, too. So, um, it's pretty cool in those regards. So, let's see about the album. Okay, so this is the official album. I will now be unboxing it. And like I said, this releases worldwide through retail um, Tuesday. And Caleb's already promoting it, and it released Tuesday is. They're actually going to have a free Caleb concert somewhere in Oklahoma City, I think, on release day, Audio Adrenaline's new album to celebrate. So Caleb will be there, I think, somewhat dealing with that. So let's open this up. Oh, man. Man, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited and stoked about this new album. I mean, this is one of my, like I said, uh, that Plum album I showed you recently, and this were my, you know, top albums I wanted to get for this year, because I saw the li list of new releases, and these were the main ones I wanted. So, you have the Audio Adrenaline album, um, which is actually purple. The CD's purple, which is cool. It includes He Moves, You Move, uh, Kings and Queens, Believer, King of, Com of the Comebacks, Change My Name, uh, 2017, also known as Range the Banner, Fire Never Sleeps, Seeker, uh, climb the, I Climbed the Mountain, and The Answer. So, actually, I had the autograph lyric sheet, and... Inside of it, I have the normal lyric sheet, which is mainly the same thing. So that's cool. And this is brand new. So there's a look at the disc. Uh, the backdrop from Mark Stewart, which used to be the old lead singer. And um, let me read this to you real quick. It says, I recently heard it's Mark Stewart says... I recently heard it said that our God is not the God of second chance. With our God, chance doesn't play a role at all. The victory is already won. That being said, I know God is creative, romantic, and jealous for our attention. He seems too relentless. Find a way to bring us back to the path we were once intended for. And then, he, and then Mark Stewart claims... When I lost my voice, I would have never imagined God increasing the platform that Audio Adrenaline has, and he would have never expected to be the voice for the orphans of Haiti, as I said with their hands and feet project. He says, I am now aware that God's redemptive plan was at work in my life and in the lives of Will, Kevin, Jared, Jason, and Dave. And he says he's honored, thankful, and blessed to be a part of the rebirth of the brand new sound of Audio Adrenaline. I mean, I am stoked about this. You should be stoked about this. They are hard rockers. They're mainly a 90s known Christian rock group that was popular in the 90s with their hit singles such as Ocean Floor, Hands and Feet, and Big House. And, man, I remember jamming out to Big House, um, like in church, um, growing up in the 90s and things like that. So, I mean, it's just incredible. So, yeah, uh, so that's what he says, and he says he prays that, um, that us as the listeners would be encouraged, um, with his story of redemption, or God's story of redemption, and be moved to share these stories about these children of Haiti through the Hands and Feet Project. So, I'm pretty sure these songs actually are stories dealing with the orphans in Haiti, which would be excellent. I mean, and like he says, you can visit handsandfeetproject.org, which I'll actually post a link to their Facebook and official website, so you won't have to worry about missing out on supporting that. So, mainly, that is... The Audio Adrenaline Kings and Queens album. 
Uh, sorry, I talked a little on it. Um, I just wanted to talk a lot about this band because they have not um, had an album in six years. And I recommend that you support them if you want to because um, they really need support considering it's been half a decade since they've released a new album. So I'm stoked about this. I can't wait to play this. Hopefully I'll play it before release day, like I said, and have a review published. Um, ahead of time. So, this will conclude the pre sale package of the autograph CD of Audio Adrenaline. I mean, of Kings and Queens by Audio Adrenaline. And actually, I will do a separate review of the album. And then, once I get the Kings of Comeback video of the making of the album, I'll talk later and expand on the knowledge I have behind this album and everything I'm doing with the band. So, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and stay tuned for more content in the future. Um, take care, God bless, and see all of you soon. And also, one more thing. I will post a link to Audio Adrenaline's official Facebook page and their website so you can, um, and their YouTube page so you can um, see what content they have out. And check it out for yourselves. So until next time, take care, God bless, and comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and see you soon.